day, Cal. Give us the old 97. Yes, sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Make it a try. Yes, brother. Give. I was saying when I was so rudely interrupted, the first time I ever heard about the market crash, I was wintering in Miami. One day, the town was full of paper money. The next day, the paper was still there, but it was no money. <laughs> yep, I knows, I knows. It was the same down at Saratoga. Why, I was up to me knees in millions. When the bears raided the market and... No, 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 you're wrong. It wasn't the bears, it was the bulls. The bears. Bulls. Bears. Bulls! Oh, why? Do I know or don't I? Why, every night I used to sleep under a copy of the Wall Street Journal. <laughs> there was millions loose, I tell you. Millions! Journaling what it used to be, they'd give me a couple of bad steers, too. But I tell you, it was the bulls. Yes, <laughs> the bulls. I think I shall finish my siesta. Not a bad idea. Isn't it funny what a lot of country nature can crowd in one place? Isn't it great? This is my country. Yeah. You can keep it. Say, you don't look like a regular bull. What were you doing back on that train? Traveling. Oh, is that right? Come on, pal. What's the lowdown? I've got a job to do. That means a lot to me. Well, having nothing to do at the present time, how about me trailing along? No. This is a one-man job. Maybe I'm the man. I might be able to use you at that. There won't be any work involved, I hope. No, but there might be some shooting. Look, count me out. Not scared, are you? No, no, just careful. Don't worry, I'll take care of any shooting that comes up. Ah, oh, that sounds better. Let's drift. Right, pal. Listen, pal, I never walk when I can ride. Oh, you don't, eh? No. Well, guess what would you suggest? Well, we can, uh, we can summer ride. Summer ride? Mm-hmm. Did you ever try to summer ride in this country? Well, no, but there's always got to be a first time for everything, pal. Ah, here comes a guy. Come on, get ready. You think he saw us? Sure, but he probably thought we'd be crowding him. Well, of course, there was no... Hey, wait for me there.
Hey, here comes a guy with a spare. Watch me stop him. Stop in the name of the law. That must be one of them horse rustlers. We better try another corner. Yeah, maybe you're right. I still don't see why we have to sit around here and watch that old wagon. For the tenth time, Oscar, I'm a telling you, I want to see who comes and gets it, so's I can arrest them. But we already arrested the feller that stole the wagon from the mine. Sure we did. Yeah. Now listen real close, and I'll go all through it again. The two fellers that stole the wagon is in jail. Now, I want to find out who they stole it for. That's why I'm leaving the wagon here. Look, pal, it seems to me like we've found transportation. Come on. Listen, you lunkhead. For the eleventh time, there was two men and one wagon. And two horses. Oscar, you're improving. But why... Now, did... don't start that all over again. As I was saying, we've arrested the men... Now, I'm going to arrest whoever comes for the wagon. I wonder why it's waiting here. The setup don't look right to me. Come on, this ain't no time to ask why. Let's take it and find out afterwards. Well, no harm to borrow it, I reckon. We can locate the owner later. Don't you reckon I'd better go get a posse? You are staying right here with me. We got a sworn duty that's a part of our office. And don't think for a minute I'm going to let you go gallivanting off for a posse just when I'm liable to be in need of you the boat. Sure, but, but look here. Now, that's enough. I'll explain. Uh, but, sure, but, but... Now, we'll just stay right here and watch the wagon like I said. We can only do our best, Oscar. Sure, but, and if that best ain't enough, we'll at least have the satisfaction of knowing that we tried to try. Uh, but ain't that the wagon we've been watching? Yes, that's... Well, why didn't you say so before? I, I Shut you. up! Mighty anxious to catch up with us. Do you think they're the owners? If they were, they wouldn't be right. There's something funny about this. They've unlimbered their gaps, every man for himself. We're surrounded. Come on. Where are you going? It's that plus. 
What are you talking about? Come on. Who do you guess those bozos are? I don't know, but they seem to be on our side. Take it easy and maybe we'll find out what this is all about. I'm not anxious. Well, pipe down and let me do the talking. Good work. I see you got the stuff. Yeah, we got it all right. How come the sheriff was on your trail? Well, he just dropped in sort of sudden-like. He dropped out again, too. I'm Reno, the fellow you were to meet here. I reckon you two were sent to do the job. That's right. My moniker's Bob. This here is Rusty. Howdy. How are you? Follow me to the hideout, and I'll tell you what I want you to blow up. Say, what is this? They act like they expected this. They've taken us for somebody else. Well, what are we going to do? Lay low. I came out here looking for something, and I think I found it. Tell look where you're going. I'm terribly sorry. Never mind being sorry. Just stay away from me. Hey, bring that over here. Ooh. I told you to keep out of my way, you... Trouble, you're liable to find it. Give me the lowdown on this job. I want to get it over with. We're working over a certain ranch, running off stock, burning hay in barns. We've scared off all the hands except the foreman. Where is this ranch? The Circle R. Our next move is to dynamite some water holes at the north end of the ranch. That's where you two come in. Hmm. Me? Uh, oh, sure. sure. What's the idea of picking on the Circle R? Have you got it in for somebody there? Quit asking questions. They're bad for your health. Okay. Well, when do we get paid? You'll get paid, all right. Help yourself to shooting irons. You'll be needing them. All right, Rusty. Choose your weapon. Well, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take that one. I'll show you where you bunk. Make yourselves at home. Oh, thanks. thanks. I don't trust them birds. So what? I'm going to keep an eye on them. Say. What are you getting me into? Let's scram out of here before things get tougher. Oh, no, he won't. I'm right on the track of what I've been looking for. Did you lose something in here, hombre? Well, I guess I just got the wrong room. <laughs> well, get your mug out of here before I start to work on it. Yeah. Hey, that bozo seems to like us. Did you hear what Reno said about the Circle R Ranch? Yeah, what about it? Oh, my uncle owned it. He was killed three months ago and left it to me in his will. I've never seen it, but I understand there's a fellow by the name of Andrews who's running it. You see this gun? Mm -hmm. Those are my uncle's initials. 
There's somebody in this gang who killed him, and I'm going to find out who it is. Wait a minute, pal. You say you own a ranch? Yeah. You remember that railroad we came in on? I own that. All right. This will prove to you who I am. Hmm? Hey, Mike. How's the spying job coming along? Yeah, yeah. Jay, you either stole this or you're the real McCoy. Well, either way, the ranch is mine. And you're going to blow it up? Not if I can help it. Well, then what? I'm going to trail along and find out who hired this place to wreck it and why. And likely as not, he'll be the one who did the killing, too. You don't think it could be that Reno guy, do you? No. He talks like he was hired by somebody. And I think that somebody is the one that I have to find. Hey, working with dynamite is stuff enough. But on top of that, they want me to ride a horse. And I'm not going. You can accept my resignation. Well, I don't like the idea of blowing up my own ranch, either. But I don't see any other way out of it. But you got me into this, now you can get me out. I want my box cars. I'm not going to fool around with any dynamite. No horses, neither. All right. I'll get you out of it. Yeah? How? Oh, no, 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 pal, pal, now, please. Come to the house. <laughs> you certainly are smart, pal. Don't you forget to be smart and limp. Oh, 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 oh. The other leg, you chump. Oh. What happened? Oh, nothing much. Hair trigger gun got him in the leg. Looks like we're going to have to call that job off for today. We call nothing off. The rest of you go ahead with it. Aren't you going, Reno? No, I got to meet somebody in town. Who? None of your business. Get outside and put the stuff on Bob's horse. I can't do this job without any help. You get all the help you need. Well, what's the rush? Rusty will be all right in a couple of days, and then we can do it right. The boss wants it done today, and today it is. Now hurry up. Well, now to plant a little dynamite in my own ranch and see what grows. What was that, Dan? Sounded like thunder off toward the desert. Or during the cloud in the sky. Oh, here comes Kurt Harris. Maybe he knows what it was. Has Kurt popped the question yet? What's delaying you? Me? Sure thing. Girl can make a man propose any time she wants him to. Hi, Mr. Andrews. How are you? Good morning, Betty. Hello, Kurt. I just rode over to see if you folks weren't celebrating the 4th of July just a little ahead of time. What do you make of it, Kurt? I don't know. It sounds like blasting. Looks to me like you ought to set it near the water. That's where you're wrong. You've got to figure out where the water's coming from and break the flow there. That sounds reasonable. Not to me, it don't. If you know so much about it, I'll let you plant the next charge. That's your job. All right, then let me do it my way. Riding the line fence between our ranches this morning and found the wires down. Maybe those rustlers are busy again. There's not much left to steal. Well, you wait till my boys come back from shipping that beef. We'll get organized and find out what's going on around here. That was closer. And it was a blast. It must be those outlaws again. Let's find out. Moving down there. 
Somebody's coming. They've been blowing up water holes. Let's get out of here. Wait. Something's wrong. Tried to blow this one, but they've bundled it. Let's make the rounds and see what's happened to the other ones. Hold it. Ah, it's only the law. Howdy, Sheriff. Oh. Oh, where's your shadow? If you mean Oscar, he's a guard in the prisoners. The fellow that stole some dynamite from the mine. Well, I thought they got away with that stuff. Well, somebody did. And somebody got arrested, too. It's all kind of mixed up. There's a big gang in on it. Oh, there is, huh? They've been blasting water holes, too. I heard it and figured out what it was, so I come running. Did you see anybody? No. You come along with us. I want to talk to you about this. Is the ball. You tee it up like that. You take your stance thusly. You take your club and you wiggle it like that. Now you keep your eye on the ball and follow through like this. Did that a purpose, you greasy coyote? You? What me? What boys? You know. Why? Oh, uh... Hold it, Umbre. There's no gunplay called for. You'll pay for this, fella. But don't try to collect with a gun. Yeah. Come on, break it up. Get back in the kitchen. Come inside. Just what is your game? Me and what? The two fellows that stole that dynamite were arrested by the sheriff. What does that make Rusty and me? That's just what I aim to find out. You been talking to the sheriff? Certainly not. Then how do you know it's so? I don't, but I got it from someone who ought to know. Yeah. Who? The fellow that's paying the bills. Well, somebody's crazy. You saw us get away from the sheriff, and you got the dynamite, didn't you? Uh-huh. And we blew those water holes today, didn't we? Yeah, and I heard you bungle the job. I'm not interested in what you heard. How do you know that we did? I don't know anything. But if you're playing a double game, you won't last long. So I'm going to check up on you. That suits me. Now you listen to me. We've done what we were hired for. All you have to do is to pay off and we'll pull out of here. You're not pulling out till I say so. Well, it's like that, is it? Yeah, just like that. You can save your suspicions and double talk for somebody you can scare.
Mike. Yes. Come in here. I got some orders for you. Listen, Rusty, we have to work fast. Things are breaking. There's a leak at the ranch. What? Well, they send for a plumber. Oh, quit your clowning. This is serious. You're telling me? There's a big shot in on this, and he's close to Circle R. And we have to find out who he is. And you're going to do it. Me? How? Mm. By telling him you're Bob Radford, the new owner. And these papers will prove who you are. Say, why don't you go? Because I'm going to stick around here and find out what this gang's going to say when they find out the new owner's arrived. Now, look. I've got to see the boss tonight. You keep your eye on those two hombres. Yeah, I'd rather keep a gun on them. You'll get your chance. This will buy you what you need, Rusty. And you stay away from the sheriff. Yeah, and you keep those gun riders away from me, too. Don't worry, I will. Come on, I've got the horses hidden in the brush. Oh, what do you have to bring the horses into this thing for? My pal, Mike. I'd like to take that guy apart and see what makes him so mean. I'll save him for you. And I'm sure glad he's out tonight. Huh? Because that fits in with my plans for your getaway. Come on. You looking for somebody? Why, no, lady. You're looking for me. I own this layout. You, Bob Radford? Well, sure. That's, that's the name on the papers. Well, come inside, please. Well, naturally. I'll send some of my men over, and we'll put this place on its feet. You'll never do that till we track down the outlaws that are trying to wreck us. We'll do that, too. This man claims he's Mr. Radford. Hiya, Humbers. I guess these documents will prove my brand. Well, I guess you're him, all right. Well, certainly I am. Who says different? A uh, nice little uh, joint uh, place you have here. Well, I'm Kurt Harris, Mr. Advent. The owner of the next ranch. Well, how do you do? I'm ready to help you every way I can. In fact, I'll start by sending some of my men over to help you run your place. I'll see to it right away. Would you like to look around your property, Bob? Uh, I mean, Mr. Radford. Just call me Bob. Sounds more familiar. And never mind that once over stuff. I've had a hard ride and the dogs are barking. Dogs? I don't hear them. Well, I feel them. Say, don't I raid a room and a shakedown around here? Why, of course. Your uncle's room is all ready for you. Ah, poor old uncle. What memories it'll bring back, sleeping in his room. I'll start supper right away. Oh, supper? Thank you very much. You know, I think I'm going to like it around here. <clears throat> Looks funny to me Bob and Rusty both disappear in that way. Yeah, sure does. What have you done with my partner? Who, me? Yes, you. His bed wasn't slept in. 
I went looking for him and saw you coming back in. Uh, I, I was just keeping watch like Reno told me to. Oh, yeah? I'm not forgetting that talk you made about paying him off. I'm asking you for the last time. What have you done with him? Uh, I swear I ain't seen him since supper last night. You're lying. Drag iron and shoot it out or else admit you killed him. Don't, Bob, don't. I, I don't know nothing about it. Are you going to draw? No. What's going on? My partner's gone, and I'm claiming Mike killed him. Ah, it's crazy. I don't know anything about it. You fellas scout around and see if you can find him. Wait a minute. I want to talk to you. I'll talk when I know Rusty's safe. Well, suit yourself, but I think you'll be interested in what I have to say. It better be good. It will be. The owner of the Circle R Ranch has arrived. I didn't even know he was gone. He'll interfere with our plans. What plans? You're here to take orders, not ask questions. All right. What are the orders? Go to the Circle R and get rid of the owner. You mean kill him? What do you think? I'm a dynamiter, not a killer. You'll be one if you know what's good for you. This job isn't to my liking, and if I do it, you've got to take care of me. Don't worry. You'll be taken care of. Now, you start by getting the job as puncher. It's all ready for you. How'd you fix that? That doesn't matter. Just tell them that you're the man expected. And you better do the job right, because you'll be watched every minute. alive. I don't care what you think, but I'm not satisfied that man is Bob Radford. Don't you remember how his uncle used to brag about what a top hand he was? He seems to have proof to what he claims. Well, he could easily get that. Suppose the real Bob were killed and that man took his papers, robbed him. Well, we'll have to stand for him, Betty. Hey, maybe I could get him to sell out. inside, there's some business to go over. Oh, my dear man, can we do it out here? No, there's some books I want you to see. Oh, you have a library, too. Hmm. Well, I'll take a look. Have a seat. I'm sorry to have to tell you this. But your ranch hasn't been doing well lately. You've lost a lot of stuff. The droughts dried up the water holes, ruined your alfalfa crop. After I've talked to the boss, you fellas stay close to Circle R and see that Bob follows orders. So you see, Mr. Radford, your ranch isn't a going proposition. Going? You make it sound like it's gone. Say, what's with all this? What am I supposed to say? Well, the idea is this. I'm willing to take the ranch off your hands at a fair price and save you any further loss. If this joint is on the rocks, why do you want to buy it? For several reasons. It adjoins my ranch and will give me more room to run my herd. Well, I don't feel like selling today. See me some other time. In the meanwhile, I'll take it up with my board of directors. There was a job here for me. Who sent you? I was told you would know that. Andrew. Mr. Andrews, this is one of the men I sent for. Howdy. He'll make you a good hand. I'll send you some others later. Much obliged. You better come in and have a look at the boss, though he ain't much to look at. Here's one of the men Kurt sent. Says he's a good man. Who says he's a good man? Kurt. You don't look it to me. What can you do? Anything. Oh, oh yeah? <clears throat> well, okay, Skipper. We'll take an option on this guy for a week. You mean hire him? Why, certainly. He looks like he needs a job, and 
I'm a right guy. Hey, what are you doing here? Who is that fellow that just left? Kurt Harris. He owns the next place and wants to buy this joint. Say, you're supposed to be watching that gang. Why are you here? I was sent here to kill you. Huh? huh? What a pal. Come on, I'm taking you for a ride. I don't like the way that sounds. Well, I figured with you dead, things ought to break wide open. It still don't sound good to me. Still, I'd rather be playing dead than riding a horse. into the brush and stand by it. How's it going? Good so far. The man you sent got to the ranch. Do you think he'll do it? Don't worry. I'm making sure that he does. It might be worth a lot to know what's going on in that cabin. Yeah, but a lot healthier not to know. Now you understand. When this Bob fellow finishes his job, we won't need him anymore. I get it. It's Bob, but who's that with him? Search me. I better get Reno. Yeah. What's the idea of busting in this way? There's two fellas coming, and one of them's Bob. Bob? Fellow's Radford. Shall we? Yes, then there'll be no mistake. Wait, the back way. My horse is down below. Now give me time to get away. Hey, hey, pal, wait a minute. Hey, this, this horse and me can't stay together much longer. Take with it, cowboy. There's a shack over there I'm heading for. Yeah, well, what's that to me? A hideout for you. I'll tell him you're dead and then see what happens. Yes, you're liable to be telling the truth. Come on, Rusty. Just a little ways farther. Oh. Let him come close, then blast him. Scatter out. You took me for a ride, and how? It's leather. It's the sheriff. They're after us. Maybe. But don't forget who you are now. Oh, I wish I could forget. What town are you shooting for? Why, well, I'm Radford, owner of the Circle R Ranch. Some uh, torpedo men were trying to blast me. Uh, how's that? Those men tried to kill Mr. Radford. Go after him, Sheriff. Say, I know you. You, one of the fellas, stole that dynamite. You're under arrest. Why, Sheriff, you're crazy. This man is my foreman. Maybe so, but he's still one of the men I'm after. Sheriff, you gonna let those murderers get away? Come on, quit your stalling. If you're scared, get me a horse. I'll show you what to do. I'm a taking him along. Listen, you're doing as I say. If you want him, he'll be at my ranch. Meanwhile, you'll do your duty or there'll be a new sheriff in this county. I'll be back for you. Uh, 
<laughs> it ain't often I get a chance to tell a sheriff where to head in. Now let's get up to that cabin. Uh, oh, uh oh. No more riding. We'll walk the rest of the way. Come on. That'll be fine. You just lay low, Rusty. You'll be all right here until I get back. Yeah, low is the word for it. From now on, things ought to start popping. You said that before, and you were right. Don't forget, you've got a date with the sheriff. I won't. What do we do now? Let's go find the boss. I was riding with the boss when some outlaws jumped us and got him. Well, how did you get away? I was lucky. I sent the sheriff on the track of the killers, and he ought to have them by this time. I hope he has. Yeah, I knew you would. Now. Well, let's find out what he knows. Did you get the men you're after? No. I'm taking you along now. That's all right with me. Are you going to let Mr. Radford's murderers go free? Murderers? Radford? Why, well, I didn't even know he's dead. You saw those outlaws shooting at us, didn't you? You said there's outlaws. And I seen Mr. Radford just as hale as you are now. Just what is your aim, young fellow, in claiming Mr. Radford's dead? And who are you? Why don't you ask Kurt Harris? He brought me here, didn't he? I sure did. But it looks like I've made a mistake. You said you were taking him, Sheriff. I don't know why, but I think you'd better hold on to him until we find out what's happened to Mr. Radford. Come on, you. And I'll take your gun. Hang on to him, Sheriff. And I'll start a search for Radford. I'll go get some men. I'll go with you. No, you stay here in case Radford sends a message or should come back. Now listen, Sheriff. I am Bob Radford, I tell you. Kurt Harris is the head of a gang who killed my uncle. And now they're trying to finish me. You said the other fellow was Radford. There's something mighty crooked going on around here, and I aim to find out what it is. But, Sheriff, I... One of us is crazy, and it ain't me. You are going to jail. Get going. That fellow Bob claims he killed Radford, but I think he's double-crossing us. Yeah, I knew it all along. The Sheriff's taking him to town. Take care of him, but be smart about it. We'll get the rest of the boys and make it look like a posse. You better send somebody to that line cabin to pick up Radford's trail. I'll take care of that. I'll head back to the Radford ranch, watch things from that end.
This is my big day. First I bought a shell out, now I put you to sleep. Uh, uh. Trail that gang like I told you? Sure. They can't lose me. Well, where are they? Right there. Those are the killers I told you about. Hey! Hey, come back here! You hurt pretty bad. Maybe I'd better get you to a doctor. Oh, never mind. It's only a scratch. Tie it up or something. All right, sir. Sure. Are you sure you don't want to go to a doctor, Sheriff? Oh, hush up, Oscar. I'm all right. Besides, we can't let Reno and his gang get away now. We got a job to do. Come on. I've got men out looking for Mr. Radford. They'll find him. Then we'll know what's going on. caught up with Harris. I know you're the man behind the plot to wreck this ranch. He's crazy. You're part of that gang. You're the man who's sent here to kill Radford. How do you know so much? That proves you're in on it. Get healed, Andrews. This somebody's gang is just one jump behind me. Well, he's lying. They're the men I sent for to help us. How do you know when you haven't even seen him yet? Looks like we've lost him. Head back to Circle R. Do as I say, Andrews, and get healed. Who are you, anyhow? I'm the real Bob Radford. Sure he is. That's why the sheriff arrested him. Are you going to believe this jailbird instead of me? I don't know what to believe. You wait till my men get here. We'll show you. Hold it. If you are Bob Radford, why didn't you say so when you came here? Hey, that's a fine spot you picked for me. A gunman's hangout. Tell him who I am, Rusty. Oh. He's the real boss, all right. He gave me those papers I had. I was just a substitute. Sure. They're both in on it, I tell you. And how? He's in here. Come and get him. Take care of him, Andrews. Come with me. Why'd you run off for me, young fella? And what are you up to now? Arrest that man, Sheriff. It's okay, pal. This is the real Bob Radford. We were just playing a game. And what a game. Well, what's the charge? The murder of my uncle, Jim Radford. I didn't kill him. Who did? Come on, who did? <laughs> 
Kurt Harris. And I can prove it. You stick to that story in court, and maybe you'll get off easy. Quick, he's getting away. Hold it. From now on, it's just you and me. Bob is still in all right. Hey, Sheriff, don't be in a hurry. Bob's getting another one for you. You ought to take a look at the other guy. You see, this was my uncle's gun. I knew I was on the right track when I found it. I had to handle the job the way I did. I couldn't even trust you or your dad. I understand that now. But I still can't conceive of Kurt doing such a thing. All he was after was this ranch. I'm sorry about Kurt on your account. No, you needn't be. It's just that you hate to see such things happen to someone you thought was a good friend. Is that all he was? Well, of course. Well, could I hope... You're the boss, aren't you? Come and get it before I throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, am I Western or am I Western? Cha-cha-cha-cha! <laughs> <laughs> 